police chief spoke with the media about 20 minutes ago about the attack and the shooting. News 6's Nadine Giannis was there. She joins us now live near the scene to explain to us what happened. Nadine? Yeah, well, Matt, the chief not too long ago called this uh, a violent scene, not just one scene, but two scenes and a violent stabbing of a nine year old girl. That's how he said this all started. Uh, we are here at the parking lot where that news conference just wrapped up. But let's go ahead and get you some video of what the scene looked like. Not too far away, about a half mile away. They said this all unfolded around 12 uh, late around 1230 this afternoon. They got a phone call about a nine year old girl from two people that had been stabbed uh, around that. That they saw a suspect running on foot, they said, covered in blood, running through residence yard, running erratically, uh, had broken into, the chief says, uh, at an RV park. And that when two of his officers here in St. Cloud confronted that suspect, that a confrontation happened and those two officers shot the suspect. They tried saving his life, but he was pronounced dead on the scene. The investigation revealed, as for the nine-year-old girl, the family members had driven her to the hospital. Take a listen to what her condition is. Investigation revealed family members had driven the female victim to the St. Cloud Hospital. The, the juvenile victim was later transported to the Arnold Palmer Hospital in critical condition. The nine-year-old female victim now, we're told, is in stable condition with multiple fractures to her face and stab wounds to her upper body and face. Uh, such a horrible description. They did say, as you heard, the nine-year-old is in stable condition at this point. The chief saying that they are going to take this investigation as two different crime scenes. One, uh, inside of that home where the nine-year-old was stabbed. And then secondly, that officer involved shooting. Now, the chief of police believes that the man that they did shoot uh, was the perpetrator here who stabbed the little girl. However, that man's family just spoke to us, I'm saying less than five minutes ago, and they're trying to clear up some confusion. So we're also going to hear from their family and try to get to the bottom of this. This while the FDLE is investigating the use of force here in St. Cloud. Until then, we are live in St. Cloud tonight. I'm Nadine Giannis getting results news six.